Guys, we are in beautiful Konken, Thailand right now. This is one of the most underrated cities. You hardly see any foreigners coming out here. Look at this view, guys. Got a beautiful mountain. Got these like homestays where you can rent. You know, coming to places like this is a really nice break from Bangkok or from like Phuket or Pattaya, like very urban cities. This is gonna be a two-day vlog in Konken. Check out the food, guys. Okay, guys, we have arrived at our next destination. It's like a waterfall and a camping ground. This is like the true Thailand experience, I feel like. This is a part of Thailand that most foreigners never see. This is all very new to me, really. I'm probably like the only foreigner. Uh, they even serve you food here. Got some waiters. Look at these Thai kids playing. <laughs> Dude, I would have loved this as a kid. I would have loved having access to this with my friends as a kid, man. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh, look at all these guys. To have this many friends, you know, just hanging out. That's something to really appreciate. All right, let's see what else is here. So we got a bunch of restaurants over here. I've been looking for a while, but I think I'm the only foreigner here, literally. But I guess I blend in more because I'm Asian, you know. Konken is like the only city you'd go to as a foreigner if you're gonna visit like your Thai girlfriend or wife's family. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty rare for a foreigner to just come here on their own. And it's like a lot more Thai, you know? When you go to these cities in Pattaya, Phuket, Bangkok, it's quite international, but these other cities, it's, you know, it's not as uh, westernized or international. I don't understand. What is the meaning? It says toilet. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea where we're going next. Um, my girlfriend's parents have been planning out everything for us. Konken University. Okay, let's see what they have here. Wow, this place is pretty big actually. I like the style though. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna buy it. Hmm. That guy was nice. He was asking me like where I come from. I was like America and he was like, all right, take me with you. Let's go to America. So, yeah, it's like a lot of foreigners here, they have the perspective of like not really liking Thailand and wanting to leave Thailand. Whereas like a lot of Westerners want to like leave uh, the West, you know? So it's like the opposite. So it just kind of shows that the grass is always greener on the other side, to be honest. It's all about your mindset. You know, I make a lot of videos about the negative aspects of America, but honestly, it's, it's entirely your mindset, you know? It's like what they say, wherever you go, there you are. It's like if you find a way to self-sabotage, wherever you go, you still have problems that you're not able to fix, then those problems are going to come with you wherever you go. If you have drug problems, if you have money spending problems, if you have girl problems, changing a new environment can help, but might not be the cure-all. But that's not to discourage anybody from changing their environment. I highly recommend it. I think it's one of the easiest ways to improve your life is changing your environment, and especially changing who you hang out with. So moving to Thailand has definitely played a huge effect on my happiness, it's my health. A lot of these things, simply because I changed environments, but also because I changed who I hung out with. The people I hang out with in Thailand are all like business owners, are all physically fit, are all doing good with money, all do good with women, or either have relationships that are like very healthy. You know, I don't hang around any like people who do drugs and purposeless in life. 
all my friends, all the people I hang out with, they're all doing really good in life. So it's like, it's inevitable to do good in life, you know, if you're hanging out with those kind of people. Check out all this secondhand shoes they got. I'm pretty sure these are all counterfeit, but honestly, who cares? <laughs> it's like you're living in Thailand. No one, no one is going to like make fun of you. Like, just look at the quality. They're probably even made in the same factory, to be honest. I need Thai Lai Nakap. Hello, I bet you. Hello, Okay. Baby, you know if these were real, you know how much these would be? I don't know. Like a million baht, one million Thai baht or something. Yeah. All right. It is getting quite dark. Wow, they even have some cologne. Damn, yeah, it smells legit. This is all real, uh, Jing Jing. That's not bad, so they sell it by the milliliter. I got the blue, the Chanel. Yeah, it's legit. Wow, they even have Aventus. So for two milliliters, it's 250 baht. For five milliliters, 600 baht. From our three milliliter cup. Oh, awesome. Oh, what the heck? This does not look appealing. <laughs> Any new items in my cup? Any moo? That looks good, actually. All right, we got some grilled pork. Honestly, it looks very good. Look at that. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. So good. Mm. Outside the skin is very crispy, um, but inside it is soft. Soft. Yeah, and then it's not like um, too much sweet, too much salty. It's like perfect. Yeah. Good, <laughs> wow, look at all these meats. They even have some bugs. These are very popular in Thailand. I've actually heard that they're quite good. You're getting some snacks? Yeah. It's not good? I don't like it. What is it? It's a, like a chili, like a Thai chili, but crispy chili. Oh. Uh. Yeah, some people like it, but I tried before and I don't like it. Now, I try You still it. don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> Trying some glasses. So right now we are going to... Where are we going? <laughs> Alright guys, we have arrived. So we're at like a night market, I think. Wow, we got a bunch of random animals. Oh, oh so cute. They love it. Oh, you don't need to fight. Look at this one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you can go fishing here. All right, we start off with the empty bowl. Now we're going to try to scoop these little fishes up. Oh, oh, oi! Woo! Oh! Wow, already broken. You got it, you got it. Oh, Woo! oh, oh that's so funny. <laughs> There goes 50 baht, but it's pretty fun. This is actually a really good date spot. Like, there's so many things to do here. All right, we gotta try this. So the objective is to get five balloons. Wow, I suck. They even have a huge bingo game. There is so much to do here. 
All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it a night, but we'll see you tomorrow morning. What should I do? I just found this in the restroom. What do I do? Go outside. You wanna, you wanna go with me? Yeah. Tamai, it's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Outside the window, no. right? <laughs> You're good. What do you want me to do? Just outside the window. Look at this cute little lizard. It's so cute. Okay. It's so cute. Why are you so scared? <laughs> I want to keep her. Okay. Bye, little buddy. I'm just going to throw you outside. Why? <laughs> what did I do? <sighs> okay. There we go. <laughs> This is the new clothes you bought today? Yes. Huh? Looks good. <laughs> Look like Harry Potter. <laughs> Hermione. Hermione. Good morning, guys. It is currently the next day. Just check out some of these houses. This is the neighborhood we're in. The cost to build some of these houses are anywhere from like Maybe around a hundred thousand, maybe a couple hundred thousand, but insanely modern. We got Donao, the taxi driver. <laughs> I've only ever lived in condos in Bangkok, but man, the house is really where it is. To own your property, to be able to grow food in your own property and be self-sustainable, you know, not be so surrounded in an urban city. Oh, not luck. <laughs> okay, I think we have arrived here at Rada. Bakery. That's nice and cozy. Okay, so I think this is what we're gonna do. This is a cake, and essentially we could just paint something on it. We have all these little decorations. You, oh, it's okay. It's okay, just a little bit. Alright guys, we have made it to the what? We are at Wat No Wang. Yes. Wat no Wang. Right, let's go to check it out. Oh, yeah. Wow. The architecture though. Wow guys. We are here on the third floor and apparently we could actually even go all the way up to the ninth floor. Okay, so we are pretty high up now. Now we are on the sixth floor. It's getting physically smaller as we go up. Okay, you have to watch your head. As you can see, a lot of people have hit their heads right there. It's getting a lot smaller. Okay, so I guess this guy is guiding us. Okay, so he was telling us that there are royal relics here. Let's go up. Yeah, as you can see, it's very small space. You have to duck your head. Wow, look at this. So this is a royal relic. Not really sure what it is. You know what this is? Oh, so the guy was saying that this mm -hmm. is what? What is this? Buddha's bones. Buddha's bones? Yes. The monk became an Abraham in Buddhism when he died, and then the bones became gems. I see. So the, the bone that turned into gem is inside up there, right? Yes, but this I one see. is special because it's 
Because he's telling me like um, the Buddha born. It's not like this monk. But there is a part of the community. Wow, we're so high up. Check out the view, guys. All the way on the top. So now you have to pour the water. Yes. We're absolutely stuffed. We had like seven different dishes. Oh my gosh. No, but the view is definitely the best. Actually, we're not even in Konken right now. We're in, where's this? Mahasarakham. Uh, Mahasarakham. Yes. Okay, it's very nearby. Um, yeah, I don't know where we're going next, but let's see. Absolutely huge. Where are we going? What's over here? They have horses? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey. Cow Pod. His name is Cow Pod. Yes, Cow Pod. Cow Pod. We got Marky over Marky. here. <laughs> Looks like a cow. Marky. It's like an emo cow. Let's look at this one. Wow, he's turned around. He doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> and then we got some baby goats. Wow, these guys are pretty cute. Look at all. Oh, look at that one. So small. It's like bopo size. Give me some carrots. That's so many goats. Yeah, what is he doing? He's sleeping. I think they got some more over there. Oh, look at this one. This one is a baby. Look how small. They also have some parrots. You know, when I was growing up as a kid, uh -huh. everybody made fun of my name like, Paul, you want a cracker? Who? Paul, you want a cracker? <laughs> Why? My name is Paul Lee. Uh -huh. And then also like, Polly in my pocket. Oh. It's like a doll, like a Barbie. Uh -huh. They always say like, 
Polly in my pocket. <laughs> Polly, you want a cracker? All right, so we got the food. And let's get this one. This one's my favorite one. And now we got Marky over here. Come on, Marky. Marky? You're going to have to come to me, Marky. <laughs> oh, look at his teeth. <laughs> Marky looks so nice. Yeah. He's like smiling. It's, all, it's like a baby. Uh, three minutes, three minutes. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Nang. Here you go. Oh, oh look at that. No, no. I want to give the little one away. Oh, oh, what? 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 Wait, wait. Why can't stay too late? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <What>? Loving you. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Mm, so cute. He's so cute. Look at his baby little horns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so cute. <laughs> Smile. Smile. <laughs> oh, this one's good. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been our two day vlog trip here in Con Can. I highly recommend you check out this place. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.